Hey, what's up, guys? Just Ryan from GFX Sport here. Uh, today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this uh, color blast effect using just Photoshop filters. Photoshop is known for its amazing effects you can get out of it just using the filters. So first, we're gonna start off just open up a new new uh, document here. We're gonna go 700 by 700 pixels. I'll zoom out here a bit. All right. So first, we're gonna start off by going to Filter, Render, Clouds. Oh wait, yeah. First, you want to press D on the keyboard, and make sure your color palette uh, is reset. Black on top, white on the bottom. That's what black for the foreground and white for the background. You get that by pressing D on the keyboard. You go filter, render, clouds. And once we got that, you want to go to filter, render, difference clouds. And if you hold Control down and hit F a few times here, it changes the way the clouds look, and that looks pretty decent here for this effect. So the, the next step is filter, pixelate, color halftone, and we want to go with a radius of 4 pixels and change all the channels to about 90. We'll just go with 90 for this one. You can play around with it and you get different effects. You can change like 89, 88, 92, and all that stuff, but we'll go with 90 here. And as you see, we get this uh, halftone background, which is already a pretty decent background if you're into doing grunge art and stuff. A lot of people that do grunge art start off with halftones and brush it out with grunge brushes and all that fun stuff. So the next step is the filter, distort, and then add some polar coordinates. And this is what's going to make it spherize for us and also give those little blast lines. So as you see, it's already coming together, but as you see the middle lines in the middle, are all pretty much pixelated and rubbed out it almost looks like but the ones on the outside are pretty much the, the way we want them and how we get them to look the same is we go to filter blur and radio blur and we want to go to zoom amount is a hundred and you want to get the best quality so once you get that done you click that and as you see the effect is already coming into play and that's that's pretty much it so far like you can change the colors around with it Go to the control plus U, pull up the Q slash saturation window. And we'll go with the blue. And you can just play around with it. You can duplicate the layer, you can go to overlay, you can even change the overlay to color dodge. It adds a little bit bright brightness to it. You can also duplicate this layer, and if you want to have a multicolored looking little blast here, you change it to color mode. So you change the blending mode to color. And now you just pull out your paintbrush tool and you start painting away. So we'll go with the red, start off with the red, bring some red in, and you can change it up, get some pink in there. You pretty much just paint around, it's, it's pretty much that simple. Get some blue. Some lighter blue. You can always change the brush size, but I'm going to stick with this size here. Get some green in there. And some yellow. But yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial right there. Uh, it's say if you only wanted part of it, you can merge all the layers together. Control E to merge them. Bust out your uh, rectangular marquee tool and pretty much just make a selection of what you want to keep so I just copied that, file new throw it in there, change the rotation of it and as you see that's pretty much it guys it's a very very awesome effect done in a matter of minutes just using Photoshop filters and something that looks like you spent many hours on working and doing stuff and actually only spent a couple minutes so it's a pretty pretty awesome effect. Uh, I stumbled across it just pretty much playing around with filters back in the day. And uh, it's somehow still stuck in my head to be able to make a tutorial about it many years later. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to rate 5 stars and subscribe for many more tutorials from myself. Uh, there might be other people joining in on the channel. i got some buddies that are pretty awesome with Photoshop as well. Um, so we'll be seeing what's going down with that. Uh, for example, like the guy that made this glass here, he might be making a tutorial on how to do that. He also hooked me up the PSD though, in case he doesn't. I can always look it over and give it a shot myself, but it 
but it's a pretty awesome effect right here as it is. And yeah, stay tuned for many, many more tutorials and uh, don't forget to subscribe and rate five stars guys. Thanks a lot.